All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here. And today we have another beautiful, beautiful offering from Tudor Watches. This is a Tudor Prince Date Chronograph Chrono Time uh, 79280P is the reference number on this watch. Now, this watch is available at CW Watch Shop. I want to thank the folks over there at CW Watch Shop for getting this watch here on the channel. And I'll leave links down below where you can pick up this watch or any other luxury watch they have there on the website. So, guys, let's talk about this one. Now, this one falls in between the Big Block, which was an earlier release back in the late 90s, I do believe, and the, uh, the Tudor Tigers, which are available now in dedication, or not dedication, but in partnership with Tiger Woods. So, this is a really cool watch. This has not the Big Block case, but more of a oyster style case on it. And I really, really love the way this watch is put together. Plus you don't have the big tiger logo up there underneath the 12 o'clock sub dial. So let's talk about this watch specification wise, guys. You have a 41 or excuse me, a 40.5 millimeter case from side to side is what I measured. You have 47.4 lug tip to lug tip. Comes in just at 13.9, just barely under 14 is what I measured with my caliper. And you have a 20 millimeter lug opening. The bracelet on this watch tapers from 20 at the lugs to 15.2 at the clasp assembly. This watch is running the Valjoux 7750 chronograph movement, a widely, widely used chronograph movement, 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is a cam style chronograph and you have a 25 joules inside of this movement. You also get a date function over here at the three o'clock position. I'll go ahead and unscrew these crowns. All the crowns are screw down crown as this is an oyster case on this watch and you have 100 meters of water resistance, but I'll go ahead and get the chronograph started for you guys here and we'll talk about the functionality of the chronograph here. Go ahead and listen for that nice, clean, crisp snap of that chronograph. And you can see that center sweep hand starting to move. Now, that is, of course, keeping track of your tachometer function or your seconds as they run around here. Down here at the bottom, you have a 12-hour counter. So this is like a really legitimate chronograph, something you can use for long timing events, anything you want to do with like that because you have 12-hour timing down here. This is for 30 minutes. It'll keep track of your 30 minutes there. So very, very useful chronograph functionality. Of course, on the fixed bezel on the watch, you have the tack meter set up there for measuring miles or miles per hour, depending on the known measured distance. Over here at the nine o'clock sub dial, that of course is your running seconds for the watch. So really, really effective chronograph. You have 100 meters of water resistance on this watch. So it's really, really a nice watch. Go ahead and stop that, reset it, listen to the snap. Nice, clean, and crisp. You guys can see everything on this watch is lining up nicely. The watch is in really impressive, impressive shape. Now, this watch is available from CW Watch Shop. It does have the, the, the double boxes, the paperwork here. This is your chronometer for certification here. I'm not going to open that because it's still it does have some personal information of the last person that owned it. But this is from 2006. Uh, the, the information is stamped there. But really, really beautiful piece. Bring it up here a little bit closer to the camera, and we'll look at the details on this watch. So very, very beautifully done. If you guys are looking for a chronograph, of course, if you can't get into a Daytona, which pretty much no one can right now, this is probably going to be the closest thing you're going to get to having something like a Daytona. The finish on the case is beautiful. It's Tudor. You have pierced lugs on this watch, which are very nice addition. I have to say, and I'll be honest with you guys, this watch actually was in my personal collection for a while. I did trade it back into CW Watch Shop for another watch, but it's, a, it's an amazing watch. It wears amazingly well. I didn't trade it in for not liking it. Um, it was completely because there was another watch they had there that I really had to have. But this, this bracelet, I have to tell you guys, is one of the most bracelet or comfortable bracelets I've ever worn in my life. This multi-link bracelet is just so, so comfortable. Now, it is an older style watch. You do have a safety clasp there, but most of the clasp assembly, if not all of it, actually all of it, yeah, it's all stamped. But nice Tudor logo there, as you guys can see. Checking out the case back, you can see all the information you want to see there. Again, like a Rolex, not a whole lot going on in the case back of a Tudor, but you can just see the high, high quality in this watch. So let's go ahead and pause it for a second and get this watch on my 7-inch wrist and then stick around and we'll check out the loom that this one has. All right, guys, so here is the watch on my 7-inch wrist. I have to admit, I love it. It's beautiful. It looks so good. Now, we did put the extra link, or they put the extra link back in the bracelet here so you guys can see it does have some room. I have a 7-inch wrist, so this is easily going to fit up to a 7.5-inch wrist, possibly an 8-inch wrist, no problem at all. But again, like I said, guys, the bracelet on this is absolutely spectacular. One of the nicest bracelets I've ever 
ever had on a watch. But the watch all the way around is just absolutely spectacular. I wanted to show you guys really quickly here. I didn't show you before, but I wanted to show you the signed crown on the watch. You got that Tudor logo there. You probably saw that when I was showing you the thickness of the watch, but I did want to show that to you guys again. So let's kill the lights and check out the loom on this one. All right, so with the lights down, we'll go ahead and light this one up. Now, I will tell you guys on these models, the loom plots are small. Um, the stick hands don't have a whole lot of loom in them, but, and it is a 2006 model, but it does have Super Luminova in it, which is still glowing brightly. The watch glows pretty much for a few hours once you get it lit up. The indices, like I said, out or the, the, the loom plots out here at the end of these stick indices are kind of small, but it really still glows, looks good. Love everything about the watch, guys. If you're interested in this one, or like I said, another luxury watch in your life, check out the links down below to CW Watch Shop. You guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.